If you don't like the original construction of the handle in the spring roll pouch because it's too thick, this hack is for you. It slims down the handle so much that you can easily sew through it now. Grab the same handle pattern piece and let's get started. Double fold it toward the center, finger press, but this time you will fold it back, right sides together, and then back towards the center, wrong sides together. Clip into place. If you have a machine that doesn't like thick layers, you can also omit the interfacing right in that seam allowance as well. You will sew each short side down at 3 8 inch seam allowance, clip the corners, and then go back to create that seam, cutting just the outer layer in half. Then grab your seam sealant and dot those corners. After drying, turn your handle right side out, pushing out the corners well and hiding all of those raw edges. Finger press to make sure the handle is nice and even and then go back with your iron and press again. Top stitch all the way around the handle with a 1 16th to a 1 8th inch seam allowance. This will enclose the handle giving you a nice clean finish. Check it out, the entire handle is closed. If you have directional fabric like I do, remember that the handle goes on the lower half of the fabric as you look at it. With your favorite fabric glue, use a little bit on the underside of the handle and place it right into your handle placement markings. I like to use these magnetic sewing tiles to keep everything in place while I wait for it to dry. I will begin to sew my block X about half an inch away from the short end of the handle. I'll start with the X and then make my way around to then sew the entire rectangle. This will keep the handle in place. And wasn't that so much easier to sew? I hope you can see that this handle cuts the bulk down by eliminating that fold under. I really hope you like it and let me know what you think in the comments.